In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up Emmet's timer resolution. So the difference between normal timer resolution and Emmet's timer resolution is that here we'll be finding the most optimal value to use for our timer resolution based on our specific hardware. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is download this file that I will provide in the description of this video. This folder is going to include all of the files that are required for this video. Now to get started, the first thing that you need to do is double click on this Windows registry file and click on run and then click on yes. When you see this registry editor pop up, click on yes. And now the global timer resolution value is added to our Windows registry. So once you do this, make sure that you restart your computer. And this step is absolutely important to do first. So make sure that you run this file and restart your PC before doing any of the other tweaks. Now once you have restarted your PC, you need to open up the folder again and then open up the file which says do this first. So double click on this text file. Now open up CMD as an administrator and simply copy and paste these commands one by one inside of CMD and press enter. If you get an error, that's fine. You can just skip that command. Once you execute all of the commands, you can close command prompt and you can also close the text file. Now, the next thing that you need to do is open up the Emmet's timer resolution folder and all the files that are inside of this. So all three of these files, you need to copy and then open up this PC and then local disk C. And now inside of here, you need to paste the three files that we just copied. If you get the access denied pop-up, just click on continue. And now these three files should be inside of our local disk folder. Now head back into our timers folder and then open up the stress testing folder and double click on the prime95.exe file. So what we're gonna do now is run a stress test on our CPU. And along with that, we're gonna be running a benchmark, which is going to help us find the most optimal value to use for our timer resolution. So from these options to select small FFTs and do keep in mind that this is going to stress test your CPU. So it's going to push your CPU to its maximum limits. And if your PC ends up shutting down without any warnings, that basically means that you might be suffering from other issues. So that could basically be issues with your CPU's temperature and stuff like that. So do keep that in mind while you run this test. But before we start this, what you need to do is open up the PowerShell commands text file. And now what you need to do is open up PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes. And now inside of here, you need to copy this first command and paste. Next, you need to type the letter A and press enter. And if you end up getting an error like I do, you can copy and paste the second command. So what this command is going to do is help us run the benchmark without any issues. For most people, if you run the benchmark tool without executing one of these commands, it is going to give you an error. So make sure that you do this before you start benchmarking. Now back in Prime95, you can press OK to start the stress test. Now inside of the same PowerShell window that you pasted the previous command, you need to type CD and dot dot. Once again, type the same command. Once you are accessing the C folder, you need to type micro and then press tab until you get the micro adjust benchmark.ps1 file. So basically the file that we copied and pasted inside of the local disk C folder. And once you get this, just press on enter. And with that, our benchmarking has started. Now we need to let this benchmarking run along with our stress test. This is gonna take about five minutes to complete. So I'll be back once this is done. Also, one thing to note is that when you are running the stress test and the benchmark, make sure that nothing else is running in the background. So just shut down any background apps like Discord or your browser. This is important to do to make sure that we get the most precise numbers for our timer resolution. Once our benchmarking is complete, you're gonna see this message, which basically says that our results have been saved as a text file. We're gonna use that later. But first, what you need to do is open up your taskbar and right click on the Prime95 icon and simply click on stop to stop the stress test. And you can also click on exit to close the application. Once that is done, you can also close the PowerShell file. Now what you need to do is open up the link in the description to this graph plotter. And here you need to upload the results.txt file that just got created after the benchmark. And you can simply just drag and drop this file. Once the file has been imported, you need to click on trace. And for the type, 
select line and on the x-axis we're going to plot the requested resolution ms and on the y-axis you need to plot the delta ms so from this graph you need to find the lowest point so here for me it's 0.578 this could be anything for you. It could be 0 0.51, 0 0.52. Again, this value is going to depend on your system's performance. Once you find the lowest value on your graph, you need to note this down because we're going to need this value. Next, you need to get back into the local disk folder. And inside of here, right click on the set timer resolution.exe file. Click on show more options and then create shortcut. On this pop-up, just click on yes. And now a shortcut of the set timer resolution will be created on your desktop. Find the shortcut and right click on it and press on properties. And now under the target box, we're going to have to paste a command. So you need to quickly get back into the timer resolution folder. Inside of here, open the shortcut command text file and copy this command without the quotes. Then under target, you need to paste the command that we just copied. Now, instead of 5,000, we're gonna set this to the value that we just found out through our graph. So for me, the value was 0.578. So I'm gonna have to set this to 5780. If the lowest value on the graph for you is 0.52, you're gonna have to set this value to 5200. Once you set the value, just click on apply and okay. Now go back to the shortcut and copy this file inside of file explorer click on the directory and simply type shell colon startup and this is going to show you all of your startup apps and here we're going to simply paste the file that we just copied what this is going to do is automatically launch the timer resolution and set it to the optimal value every single time you log on to your computer this is going to make it much easier to set the timer resolution once that is done you need to double click on the shortcut to start our timer resolution now get back into your local disk folder and right click on the measuresleep.exe file and run it as an administrator now you're going to see that our resolution is at the value that we just set and our delta is at a pretty optimal value but if you see that your delta is spiking up randomly to values like one what you can do is experiment with other values from this graph, you can find the second lowest value and test it out by modifying the value inside of our shortcut to see if we can get a more stable output. This was the most optimal way to set up timer resolution. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. If you'd like me to do this optimization for you, or if you'd like to get your PC or network optimized for the maximum performance, you can check out my services at the link in the description of this video. Video. That is going to be it for today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.